First up in the news, we have Pokelos. Now, during the live stream yesterday, Pokelos commented on a certain streamer's community that had been attacking him. Poke was emotional as he spoke about content creators who he used to consider him best friend. He stated that he'd come across a random live stream of one of the streamers, during which fans referred to him as Devil. One clip got shared on Twitter titled, Poke started venting about how excuses chat is whatever he gets mentioned. These guys were my best friends, it's just sad. Here is a clip that was shared on Twitter. But they're watching a clip. And it had like me in it, and the chat is like, just what the f like half the chat is like, oh, where's Poke? Invite Poke, and the other chat is like, no, f him, he's a devil. And it's just like I see these guys were my best friends, and they just sit there and read that sh and just, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, it's just sad. After this clip got shared, Poke gets criticized by the community with one post saying on Reddit, this dude has to be the most man-child snake streamer on the internet laugh my ass off. XQC moved on and never once said a bad mouth after what he did and went his own ways and he hasn't cried about not being invited and not liked. Like how the F do you get out matured by XQC of all the people in the world? Others on Reddit shared their thoughts and many others criticized Poke on Twitter, stating in the following. One exposes XQC for using Adderall even though XQC has ADHD and was prescribed Adderall role as a kid. Two, after their fight, disagreement regarding Fran's situation, Poke's girlfriend gets in a discord call with Adept, knowing everything she was putting X through. Three, Poke chose his girlfriend over X. Brother switched up as soon as X had drama and it was looking bad for him at the time. And now that he's proven he was innocent, brother is all sad. Grow up and accept you snaked your best friend at his lowest and he don't f*** with you like that anymore. Poke has to accept it's not impossible for both of them to repair their friendship, but he lost a lot of respect. Gotta stay that way until things change. Don't see it happening soon, so he's gotta roll with the punches. If they really were his best friends, don't backstab them then. Actually, victim Andy, I think everyone think what happened and how it played played out was really unfortunate, but he dug that grave and jumped in it. For him now to act like there's no reason behind it and that he was just abandoned and left out is weird. What are you guys thoughts on the friendship between XQC and Poke and Poke receiving hate from XQC's chat after all the drama went down last year? Let me know in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like and if you want to keep up with the latest news and clips, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on and I'll see you guys in the next one.